Hi, I'm Naid Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can retarget a skeleton or a skeletal mesh to use all those animations that came with a uh, mannequin. In this case, animation starter pack that has a lot of animation in it. Whatever you want to do with the character, you can do it with just this animation pack, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporters. They helped me a lot and they helped me to create all of these videos. Thank you very much. And before we start, i want to say please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here so you remember from last video we add our character and we rig it and we export it to unreal engine 5 so we add this character to blender we rig it some of the names are we just name it like we want it to and some of the name we just copy it doesn't matter which name you want to use for these retargeting purposes okay it will work and how it works let me show you with the paint okay in here for example we have this character it has head it has neck it has this hand <laughs> it has this hand it has this body it has this leg okay and its leg has this it has some shoe on it okay and we have another character doesn't matter if it's another size for example this is its head this is its uh, neck this is our hand okay and this is the body and this is the uh, foot right so how we can retarget it in Unreal engine 4 you do it with exactly say this bone should be this bone this bone should be this bone and all of that right but in our Unreal engine 5 there is better way to do it let's just close select this is green in this case we want to say from here to here copy the animation from here to here and paste it here to here okay so this this is a chain for example has four bone on it so in here has four, four bone as well so we will say from this point to this point copy its animation to this point and from this point to this point and for the leg as well we say from this point to this point copy its animation and put it on this point to this point okay and that's how we can retarget our animation doesn't matter how many bone it has okay so let me show you how you can do that and let me again go back to the paint first of all for each one of these we should create a ik for example this one needs a ik rig man zero okay and for this one we should create that ik rig man two that is the target animation for example this has animation that we want to target it for this animation right so we should create a ik rig for this and create ik rig for this and after that we should connect these two with something that is called ik retargeter okay or something like this so we should create ik rig for both of the um, the skeletal mesh the one that it has animation and the one that doesn't have animation for both of them we should create ik rig and with ik retargeter we will connect them together okay well, so let's just do that first of all i want to go here in this character that we read from last video and what i want to do i want to right click go to animation and create ik rig just for this dragon okay uh, there is two of them because i did it once before and uh, that's why it gives us two i want to call it ik rig and i want to call it dragon okay and let's just open that up this one is for our dragon we want to do it for the um, mannequin as well so in here in its folder doesn't matter if you don't uh, use its folder but for uh, organizing things it's better to create it on its folder right click in here go to animation and again create another ik rig and this one i want to use this uh, s key let me search for that s key mannequin and you can see there is two of them because one of them it came with unreal engine 5 and one of them is from this animation starter pack that you can download freely on marketplace okay if you hover over it you can say it this one is in game and anim, anim starter pack and this one is in game character mannequin ue4 okay i want to use this one because it has a lot of animation i want to call it ik rig and this one i want to call it man okay open it up and you can see it has some bones and this one has some bones as well so how we can connect them together so first of all we should create those chains okay for example from this point to this point should be a chain from this point to this point should be a chain right so let's just do that so for example let's just create it for head doesn't matter what you want to call it so in here head start from the neck to the head right so we start from neck the chain end at head okay next let's just create a 
um, hand L, okay? And I wanted to start from this pelvis L to this hand L, okay? Those fingers, we will do it separately. So let's just click on the start point. We want it to be from Calvic L and we want it to be hand L, okay? Again, let's just create another one for hand right, okay? It doesn't matter what you want to call it in here. So the start point for this is Calvic R. Let me find it, Calvic R, and this is hand R, okay? We can search it, it will be faster. So we will, we did this hand chain, we did the head chain, we did this hand chain as well. No, let's just do it for the foot, right? So in here, add another chain, for foot, whatever you want to call it, foot L. And I want it to start from the tight L to ball L, okay? Let's just add another one for foot R. And again in here, tight R from this tight R here to ball R, okay? No, we want to do it for a spine as well. So let's just add another one, call it the spine. If you create a lot of this chain, it will look very much better, okay? But it takes some, some time, right? So the spine, it should start from pelvis to the spine tree, right? So we did that for this dragon. No, we should do it for this one as well, okay? And you can, again, name it whatever you want. You can retarget it as uh, after that. But if you just copy these names from here to here, it will be much easier. So the head should start from, um, let me see, from the neck. We can just search for it, okay? Neck one to the head. We can just search for it like this. It will be faster. Next one is the hand. L and the handle should start we can see there is a lot of them here that maybe we don't want to retarget we don't need it maybe okay but if you want it you can go through it and add it it should start from calvic L like it like it did start in this in calvic L to uh, hand L we do it like this again and it start from calvic L and to hand L okay let's just do it for hand R as well hand R and it should start from calvic clavicle <laughs> Sorry that I'm not saying correctly. Clavicle, okay? Clavicle. So it start at hand R. Again, let's just add for left. Um, no, 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 no. Foot L and a start. A start. We want it to be uh, tight L to ball L. I think ball L. Next foot R. Let me. It should start from tight R two balls are right so what we need we need the spine as well so in here i add another one call it the spine and i want to start from pelvis to a spine tree right everything cool let's just save them and know that we have our ik rigs let's just go here and create that ik retargeter right click go to animation and in here click on ik retargeter and first of all it says that uh, pick ik rig to copy animation from okay so i did call it ik Okay, rig, right, man, this one. And we want to copy from that animation. Let's just double click on it and go to chain mapping. First of all, we should set the target IK rig. And what is called IK rig, I think it's called dragon. Okay, so you can see the dragon as well in here right everything is cool no we should we can just select auto mapping and you can see a spine a spine head head hand l hand l this target chain this is the source chain that is coming from the ik rig man and this is the target chain that is from ik rig dragon right so if you auto map it it will be cool no if we run one animation for example the idol it shouldn't work right because this is in t position and this is in a position and it shouldn't work right so let's just click on one of these and you can see it changed but it's not looking cool because we didn't um, retarget the fingers um, and the the uh, pose the rest pose position is not uh, okay so you can see that uh, because we didn't uh, retarget all the bones and the let me show you the the rest pose or the pose the default pose of our character in here is t pose and in here it is a pose so both both of them should be the same that to look better right so we should create another pose and we should add all of those fingers to our retargeter i just paused the video and i did in ik rig man i did add all the pinky r pinky l index r index l thumb l thumb r middle l middle r and you can see the pinky r start from pinky 01 r to pinky 
zero to you are okay and you can see it i just create all of those bones and though all of those chains and if you click on it you can see the chains in here okay this is for food this is for foot art this is for spine and this is for pinky you can see it in let me show you in here okay i add all of these to my dragon and to my it man and now in our retargeter all the finger bones now are connected let's just find out a idle one again in here double click on it so you can see everything cool right but again that about that typos and um a pose so this character that we want to copy animation from is in a a pose and this one is in t pose so we can fix that go in here and edit pose in here click on this bone and rotate it until it's look like this roughly right this much i think that's enough or maybe a little bit more go up and you can see no it works fine okay and now if we run our animation let's just run like this and you can see all the animation is working fine let's just click on here this animation works fine fine this animation is working fine because this one has just three uh, four finger and the mannequin has five fingers so the hand shouldn't look cool but i think it's really cool right so all the animation is working fine so let's just see for the walk okay the walk forward and you can see it works fine it looks cool um again this one this one everything is looking cool and now we have all of this animation for example this one this one this one this one and they are beautiful right so we have a lot of animation and how we can export it it's easy just select the animation that you want double click on it and you can see it for example this one and go to export selected animations and in here tell it to where to save those animations for example i want to save it in here hit ok and it will create that animation and you can see it we can just double click on it and you can see we can see the animation if you go to character bones and in here tell it to select only or none you can see it clearly with holding alt and left click you can rotate it to see it if it's doing a good, good job or not right so yeah and that was it guys for this video i hope you like this video and please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye